everyone. It's our maths lesson today and you're going to be mathematicians. Are you ready to get multiplying? Good. Today we're going to be using the multiplication symbol again and we're going to be multiplying with groups today. The resources you will need will be your counters, some paper and vocabulary that we will use today, multiplication, group, sequence, commutative. Right, I want you to use your brains. Some of these are incorrect. Can you draw a correct representation? So the equations are correct. Mm, but are the pictures? Pause the video and draw me the correct pictures if they're wrong. Pause the video. How did you get on? So we said some of these are incorrect and you've got to draw the correct and correct the ones that weren't. The equations are correct, so you've got to do the correct drawings today. Okay then, so the first one we've got three dice all with the number five on. Is that correct? That is correct, isn't it? We've got three lots of five. Well done. The second one, what does that say? Four times four. Four multiplied by four. Okay, well we've got four flowers in each vase. Have we got four vases? We haven't, have we? We need to have another group of four. At the moment, we've only got three groups of four. So that equation would be three times four. To make it correct, we need another vase to make it four times four. Okay, let's look at the pencils in the pot. It says six times two. Six lots of two. Six groups of two. Have we got six groups of two? How many pencil pots have we got? One, two, three, four. No. How many more pencil pots do we need? We need two more pencil pots. That's right. Have we got two pencils in each pot? Yes, we have. Six times two. Six lots of two. Six groups of two. That's right. In our final picture, we have got a bunch of grapes. How many grapes are on this bunch? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got one bunch of grapes. How many on the grape bunch? Eight. One times eight is correct, isn't it? Okay then. Well done if you had a good try at that. We're going to be multiplying using pictures to help us. What do you see here? Pause the video. If there's somebody for you to talk to, talk to them. Otherwise, have a little think. What can you see here? Hmm. There are some equal groups. How many equal groups are there? There are three equal groups of how many? Yep, four in each group. There are three equal groups of four. Well done. So, how many lots of four are there? There are three lots of four. That's right. So we've got two different ways of explaining that image. There are three equal groups of four. There are three lots of four. Is there another way that we can describe that image? Mm. We can say three multiplied by four, can't we? Yep, yeah, because we've got three groups of four, so three times four. The word multiplied is the same as the symbol four. Uh, same as the symbol multiplication symbol times. Okay, so three multiplied by four, three times four. Mm, what do you see now? Have a think. What can you see here? Pause the video while you have a think. The groups have changed, haven't they? Mm, and the amount in the groups has changed. How many groups are there now? There are. There are six groups. Are they all equal? Yep. So there are six equal groups of two. 
there are six lots of two. So what will my multiplied by be? Six multiplied by two. Six times two. Well done. Okay then, so I'd like you to have a go at these questions on this slide. So using your pen and paper, remember it's just for you to have a go, don't worry about it. See what you can do with these. Pause the video while you do that. How did you get on? Here are the answers for you to check them by. Pause the video while you check and make sure you've worked them out properly. Remember you can use your counters to help you so that you can use any equipment. It will really help you if you do. Keep looking at these until you really understand it. Okay then, let's have a look at this one. Have a think on your whiteboard or your paper. Could you fill in the answers please? Pause the video while you do it. How did you get on? So, how did we get on with the first one? There are how many equal groups of? So first of all we need to count how many groups there are. One, two, three, four. And then how many in each group? How many apples have I got in each bag? Five apples in each bag. So I've got four equal groups of five. And I can say that's four lots of five. I can also say that's four multiplied by five. Four times five. Well done. Did you get that? You had a good go though, didn't you? Well done. Okay then. So now I've got the statements. But I haven't got the pictures. Hmm, what are my statements going to be? I want you to have a think as I reveal them. There are three equal groups of five. What do you need to draw? Have a think. There are three lots of five. 3 multiplied by 5. 3 times 5. What will you draw? Pause the video and draw the images to match the statements, please. How did you do? I've used apples again. I've used a bag of apples. That's one group of 5. Two groups of 5. Three groups of five. I've got three equal groups of five. How's that been? Did you get that? What did you draw? Did you draw chocolate bars? Did you draw puppy dogs? Did you draw spots? Did you use your counters? You could have done, couldn't you? Okay, let's look at my statements. There are six lots of three. What does that mean? It means I've got six equal groups. How many are in the group? Three. Three in each group. How many groups? Six. Are they equal? Yes. Six equal groups of three. Six lots of three. I'm going to draw those. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've drawn six groups of three. Six lots of three. That's the same as six multiplied by three. And then that's the same as saying six times three. We know all those statements are true about my image. But how am I going to work that out? I'm not very good at counting in my threes. I think I might get a tens frame to help me. Let's have a look. So that's one group of three, two groups of three, three groups of three. I need another tens frame, don't I? Four groups of three, five groups of three, six groups of three. Now I know, because I do know, that I can look at those two tens frames and know that I've got 2 less than 20, which makes 18. But if you really wanted to make sure, you could check on your 100 square by counting in threes, because we have practiced our three times table. So let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. That's another way we could have done it. Aren't we clever? All right, okay. 
I think I can write four different multiplications. Also, there are different ways. Do you agree? I think there are eight. Pause the video here. Who's right? Are there four different multiplications or are there eight different multiplications? Record the multiplications you think there are. Pause the video while you do it. How did you do? Let's see. What can you see? I can see 1 times 16. Yep. I can see that 16 there. I can also see 2 times 8. There we go. 2, lots of 8. And I can see 3, lots of... Oh, I don't think I can see three lots of anything. No, so I can only see those two. One lot of 16 and two lots of eight. But I looked at it systematically, which helped me, didn't it? Hmm, can't see three lots. I can see four lots though. Four lots of four. One lot of 16, one times 16, two lots of eight, two times eight. And I can see four times four. Four lots of four. How about you? What did you see? Oh, you think there are three more, do you? Sixteen lots of one. Of course, because we can do it both ways round, can't we? So that means eight lots of two. Oh. Four lots of four is the same as what you said, isn't it, before? Four lots of four. Right. Weren't we clever working all those out together? I don't need that four times four again, though, do I? So there were five different ways that we could see from that array. We could see five different multiplications from that array. We're getting very good at using arrays now. You're good at drawing them, and you're good at using them. So... It's your turn. It's over to you. I would like you to pause the video here and answer these questions. And then can you answer these questions, please? Pause the video while you do it. Pause the video. It's your turn to do them. How'd you get on with this one then? So A, four lots of five. So have we got four five times or five four times? It can be either, can't it? I did five four times. So I've got one lot of five, two lots of five, three lots of five, four lots of five, four lots of five. And with B, it was two multiplied by four. So did I do two four times or did I do four? Two times. I did two four times. One, two, three, four. And C, three times five. Did I do three five times or five three times? I did three five times. One, two, three, four, five. Three times five. Complete the sentences for each picture. So A, we have got two lots of five equals, mm, two lots of five equal, five add five is ten. That was easy, wasn't it? So to write that as a multiplication equation, 2 times 5 equals 10. B. Oh, what have I got in B? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 vases. And what have I got in each vase? 2 in each vase. So B is 4 lots of 2, which we know is 2, 4, 6, 8. And that is 4 times 2, which equals 8.
And for the final question, well, there's any number of answers. So I need you to either take a photograph and WhatsApp it to me or email it to me or pop it through the post box at school or bring it in next week when you come back to school and show me the answer. Make sure your name's on it. Today we're going to be using the multiplication symbol again and we're going to be multiplying with groups today. Work with us in school. Lots of ways to do that. Enjoy your multiplication. Speak to you tomorrow. Bye bye.